Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is graphing this parabola, this quadratic function. You have y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. So if you would, uh, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, basically, it's not in vertex form. So you can either convert it to vertex form, which, by the way, is very complicated. You actually have to do the completing of the square on the same side. Or what you can do is just use a shortcut. To find the vertex, and that's what you want to find first whenever you're graphing a parabola, is your x-coordinate is going to be negative b over 2a. And your y-coordinate, basically, you take this and you just plug it in. So it would be f of negative b over 2a. So I have to find negative b over 2a. Well, negative b over 2a, I can simply just plug those in. The b here is negative 2, and your a is 1. So that would be a negative, negative 2 over 2 times 1. Negative times a negative 2 is positive, so it's a positive 2 over positive 2, which equals 1. And you take that 1 and you just plug it in to find the y coordinate. So it would be 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3. 1 squared is 1. Uh, 2 times 1 is just a minus 2 minus 3. And so that's going to give me 1 minus 2 is negative 1, minus 3 is negative 4. So my vertex is 1 comma negative 4. I'm going to erase this, so if you want you can pause the video and you know copy this down. Because once we have the vertex, we're almost there. So the vertex is 1 comma negative 4, which would be about right there. The axis of symmetry goes straight through it. I'm going to do it with a dotted line. That's kind of uh, common practice to do it with a dashed line. So that's at x equals 1. Now, what I can do here is just simply plug in, look for the y-intercept. That's the easiest thing to do when it's in standard form like this. You plug in 0, that cancels, that cancels, and it leaves you with a negative 3, so that would be your y-intercept. So that's right there. And again, the axis of symmetry is right there. Now, that's good, but it doesn't give me an idea on how the graph is going to look. So what I can do is I can find the x-intercepts. And so you set this equal to 0. So that would be 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. And this is actually something that's factorial, which makes it even easier. So that would be x minus 3, x plus 1. So you're going to have an x-intercept, which is positive 3, x-intercept, positive 3, how is 0? And the other one is going to be a negative 1, comma 0. So I'm going to have uh, negative 1's right there. And positive 3 is right there. Notice that it's the same distance from the axis of symmetry, which is expected, because parabolas are symmetrical. And then just draw your parabola. Again, make sure that there's a curve when you draw it because it's not perfectly straight. It 
It's not V-shape because V-shape would be the absolute value function. So you just got to be careful of that. And make sure it's a saw line. And that's it.